I want to give a chance to the youngest journalist in the room. I'm Emma Stimo from the Norwegian youth paper Ungdomsavisa, and my question goes to both the winners. How can young people like myself help your work against sexual violence? Thank you. Well, of course, youth is the most important weapon we have here. They can uh, fight against sexual violence. We know that youth is a victim of sexual violence, but we know that youth has huge communication capacities. I think that... Uh, what you can do is communicate about this type of violence. You can denounce it. You can also help other young people understand what is happening via social media. You can contribute to a positive form of masculinity through social media and through all the means of communication you have. I think that the impression we have today is that those zones of conflict are very far away, that this is someone else's struggle. But my experience has shown me that even in Europe, when there have been conflicts, well, uh, rape has been used as a weapon of war at a large scale. This is a problem in every society, and I think that we need to fight against this type of violence in fighting against a dominating toxic form of masculinity and you as young people you can really lead this fight if you change the mentalities well then if there is a situation of conflict we might avoid rape being used as a weapon of war so I think you have a huge opportunity now you can uh, really lead the struggle and uh, you can lead for a better equality between men and women. Thank you. They can raise their voices, the young people. Yes, you have a voice. You can share and spread your voice and make a difference in society. People like you in all these countries where there's more justice, more rights, you can go out there and speak. You can rescue people like us from this violence because in our places and before ISIS, we were not enjoying the rights of freedom of speech and expression. We didn't have these rights. You can make a difference and express your voices. The young people can make a difference. Raise your voices from everywhere in the world, from Europe, from the Arabic, Arab countries, from everywhere in the world, you can make a difference. As Dr. Mukweke said, you can use the internet, the social media, with your communication and your usefulness, you can make a difference. You can open up everybody's mind so that these people are not joining ISIS that they are not making, uh, not continuing with this violence in the world. <laughs> 